Monday. It's Monday. And where am I going? The gym. Hello. Y'all like, what happened to the brown hair? Or are y'all like that? I don't know. I put on the curly hair. Remember I was all drawn? I should have wore the curly hair on the, when I went to the gym the other day. Because when I come back from the gym, my hair be wet and messed up. And I'm going to film today. So I need that wig to stay done. So I just put on the curly wig. And I wet it with like my own hair. <laughs> like I did a wash and go. Last night I was up doing some organization and cleaning. And yes. I put together the clothes rack and it looks really freaking good. Let me back up just a little bit. So this is the clothes rack I got from Walmart. And this is just stuff that I have bought from the mall. Stuff that I got from Boohoo that I showed in the try on haul. I didn't hang it up out here. It's still in the closet. And I have another Boohoo order coming. And so this is just crazy. I already had these shoe racks. I just moved them back over here. That's one of my sneakers, and these are like regular shoes. And those are just shoes that I wanna display. All my other shoes are in my closet. Once I come home from doing my Monday errands, hopefully I finish at a decent time. Um, I'm gonna film. I think this is really cute where my mirror is when I take pictures, you know. You can see the clothes in the background, so that's kinda cute. I can even film here now that I have the mount piece for my, um ring light so i don't need my tripod anymore so i can kind of stand here and film so it's gonna be cute make the nail appointment now because i want to get my nails done oh my god look at this inspection line you, oh it's the end of the month i live right by the um motor vehicle Ooh. right by the dmv so these people be in the inspection line the last day and i think today is how many days is in april 30 or 31 I don't know. You don't know how it's a riddle for that. Like, something, something. 30 days has November, something, something, and September. Well, I never really learned that. I only kind of, I know the the, the melody of it because my grandma sings it. But, like, literally, nobody ever told me that. So, still to this day, at 24 years old, going to be 25, college educated and all, I don't know how many days each month has. The message just sounds weird. Like, I know February don't have 30 days or anything like that. Um, and I know, like, September has... Shit, I don't even know how many days September have, and I was born in September. Does it have 31 days? I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't know which days don't have 31 days and which days do. But anyway, these people wait to the last day of the month to get their car inspected. Then they be in a line for hours at a time. Because you have to get it done by the end of the, whatever the month is your stuff expire maybe waiting that line be wrapped around my skin literally feels like a baby's bottom when i say baby's bottom it don't make no sense like i use this vitamin e oil that i got from marshall's home goods girl bye lit i'm gonna fast today a liquid only fast until six o'clock once, once something is put in my mind, I kind of got to follow it. I got to I gotta go with God's word and follow it. So, I'm going to try to pray and fast today. And I'm going to see where God leads me. What, um, what message he sends me. Because when I tell y'all he had his way with me at church yesterday, church was one freaking point. So, you know, church was about to be over. And this guy was in the audience. And not in the audience, but in the congregation or whatever. Sharp man. Sharp, sharp, sharp. I'm like, who is this man? Not that I was looking at him like that, because I don't know his preference, really. But he was sharp. I'm sure he liked women. Anyway, that's besides the point. That's shady. Um, he was sharp as heck. And so he he um he said that he was sent to that church on this day. Bishop, our bishop knows him, but he don't go to that church primarily. He was sent there on an assignment from God. So he went up there and he, you know, started prophesying over the bishop life. And, you know, she's been sick lately. And he said, your body is totally healed and whatnot. Going on and on and on about, you know, the blessings that she's going to receive this year. She's going to be 77 this year and just going on about how this is going to be her year of double blessings and it's crazy because all year since january since new year's service 
a lot of the messages have been pertaining to a double blessing like how this year is gonna be the year to blow your mind things that you never thought you was qualified for things that you never thought can happen are gonna happen God is gonna turn around situations that you didn't even think were able to be turned around and I truly 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 believe that so anyway he said for everyone to sow a seed of twenty dollars if you are looking for a financial blessing in the next seven days so i don't want to say i have it all together but you know i make sure that i work and spend my money properly so that you know i'm good so i'm thinking i'm like i mean who doesn't want a financial blessing but it's okay if it happens or if it don't. You know, I'm still gonna go to work. I'm still, you know, I'm gonna be good, whatever. But of course, I sold my seed to $20 because I'm not just sowing my seed to, you know, receive a check in the mail. I'm sowing my seed for prosperity and to just maintain what God has already been blessing me with and just maintaining everything. So I went up there and sold my seed to $20. I threw, I kid you not, I threw my $20 on the stage because everybody was throwing it on the stage it wasn't we weren't putting it in a basket because we had already did our offering he said god is about to heal you of chronic migraines when i tell y'all chills went through my body chills went through my body this man does not know me from a can of paint this wasn't even a part of the sermon this was church was about to be over like i said and he ran up there and, and you know said that god assigned him to do this I ran back up there so fast. I don't even remember. I just know he touched me, laid hands on me, and I just started crying. And I'm just like, in my head, like, how does this man know? And he don't know that it's vestibular migraine that they suspect that it could be and not actual migraine, like headache migraine. But the fact that he even knew that, he could have said anything. He could have said, God is going to get ready to heal you of allergies, or God is getting ready to heal you of XYZ. This man said, God is getting ready to heal you of chronic migraines. My mind was blown. And when I tell you, after he did that, and I ran up, and he, you know, people saw that, people wasn't just going up there to put their $20. People was going up there for him to lay hands on them. And when I tell you all, like, my church is rocking. My church is rocking all the time. Like, it don't matter what the service is about. The spirit is in there. That place is so anointed. But when I tell y'all this man shook the house down. Like, when I tell y'all he shook the house down. God was in the build. When I tell you he was in the building, like, I can't even express. Like, I express my emotions in church. I cry in church. I'm emotional. He was prophesizing over people's life. He was just, just, it was just so much. And it wasn't phony. It wasn't a gimmick. It wasn't, like... This is going to happen for you on this day. It's going to happen for you on this day. That wasn't what he was saying. He was just manifesting, like, helping manifest stuff that you should already have faith to believe that God is going to do. If God said he was going to do it, he's going to do it. If God said he was going to heal it, he's going to heal it. It might not be on our time. But I was just, oh my gosh, I was so... I was just, I just felt so amazed. I felt like God was there, like, just saying well done to everybody in the church yesterday. Because, you know, 2017 was a rough year for a lot of people. I know some of y'all can attest to that. 2017 was a rough year. And, of course, some of that stuff spills over into 2018. But it's only April, guys. It's only April. You still have time. You still have time to manifest them dreams that God told you was going that you were going to achieve. You have time to open up that business. He probably says that seven people in the church is going to open up a business this year. And I knew that was me. Like, I shouted. I shouted. Okay? Because I know that's me. I know that's for me. I'm going to open up a business this year. Like, seriously. I don't care if it's the last day of the year. I don't care if it's January. I mean, December 31st, 2018. If the business open that day, it's for me. You know? Oh, my gosh. It was just so amazing. But I just had to tell y'all that because if anybody is discouraged, I don't know who may need this. If you are discouraged, stay encouraged. If you are sick, God will heal you in the time that he, he feels that you need to be healed. But also, you have to do your part. Faith and work works together. Don't sit around and um, just wallow in your sorrows, even though sometimes I know it could be hard. Trust me, I've been there. I've been in that place where I just, just want to give up. But I continue to always persevere. I continue to work. I continue to do everything. Continue to try to just live your normal life 
as much as possible. God is going to do it. He want to see that you trust him. Please, y'all, believe me when I tell you. God just wants for you to trust him and leave it, leave it in his hands. I mean, TJ Maxx, y'all. Y'all really thought I wasn't going to come in here and it's right next door to the gym. <laughs> I'm like, you know, something really got to give. But I just love buying shit. I'm going to put it in here. Okay. And I gotta get these out of here. <laughs> She's working on it. So I have some money. All right, guys. I just got my juice. Which one did I just shake up? I just did all that shaking, and now I don't remember which one I shook up. Um, I got my cold pressed juice from 7-Eleven. I got the red one again, the restoration rack. This one has the least amount of calories in it, and it's really good. So, I'm about to go get gas, and then I'm going to go to the supermarket, and then I'm going to go home, and I don't know if I have time to make something. But I'm fasting today. I'm not going to eat till 6 o'clock. But I'm going to meal prep. I'm going to make soup this week. Hopefully I make enough soup. I'm going to make some grilled chicken. And I also have shrimp. I'm going to make grilled chicken and shrimp. And like some type of vegetable. And I'm going to try to do low carb this week. So I don't know. Alright guys. I'm at Aldi. I'm going to take my um, camera in there. Because I just want to get in and get out. Um, but I'll be back. I'm just going to get all of the stuff that I can get for cheap here. And then whatever I can't get here, I'll go across the street to a shop right to get. So, yeah. How do you this? So, I have a nail appointment at 6.30. But before I go, I'm going to try to prep as much stuff as I can, cut up my carrots, because I'm making soup, I'm going to cut up my carrots, I'm crusty, I left my camera when I went to go get my feet and nails done, but I did purple, let me get some light, and then my toesies, so yeah, for now, I'm about to make, start my soup, um, I just kind of prep everything before I left. So that's just celery and carrots. Those are potatoes. This is going to be a lot of um, a lot of soup. And those are onions. And I'm about to crush up the garlic. Let me look at my recipe. I don't really have a recipe for this exact soup. I just have... Oh, that scared me. I have um, a bunch of different soup recipes just to get an idea of the order that you do stuff, but not necessarily um, for this. You guys can go on Pinterest and um, find a soup that you like, basically. This is like a vegan option, but I'm putting chicken in it, so it's really not vegan anymore, but. Okay, so I put olive oil. I put in the onions, fresh garlic, thyme, and just let that cook for a little while. Then you're gonna add your celery and your carrot. Okay guys, so I'm just waiting for this to start boiling. It's taking a while, I guess, because it's so big, so much. And my other meal prep for the week, and these are just chicken breasts. But I have them cut up into little cubes. And I put olive oil, garlic, and onions in the pan. And I also put jerk seasoning on the chicken. And I'm also going to mix shrimp with that. I'm going to have that and asparagus. Probably no carb. If I have a carb, it'll be some plantains. I'll probably buy. 
So I have jerk chicken. It's cut up into little pieces. And chunks. This is jerk shrimp. Soup still going. I just added corn. Add cannellini beans. If it would focus. These are also known as white beans. And I drained them. This is going to be so good. Like, I'm going to have food all week. Let's see. Okay, so I have that in there. Meanwhile, the, shrimp, the, the soup is still going. You want all of everything to be, like, super soft. So that can cook, like, for a long time. Um, so I just took that out of the same pan. I put more garlic in. I don't know where I could put this. And some butter. This is, like, butter alternative. Garlic, herb, asparagus. Last time I made asparagus, y'all, I um, I made it in the oven and it was too chewy. And then I was watching YouTube, watching Keisha's vlog, and Jeremy was cooking. I know y'all watch Keisha, and he made it in the frying pan. So that's how I'm gonna make it tomorrow. Okay guys, so it's almost done. The last thing I'm adding is kale. And then I'm just gonna put the top on so it's all wilted. And my asparagus is really delicious. And then I'm gonna pack everything up. Okay y'all, so this is how it looks. This is the jerk chicken and shrimp and peppers and some asparagus on the side, low carb. I only made four, I have a little bit left. I might eat it tonight, but it's so spicy, it's crazy. So that's that, and then the soup is about to be done. I'm not gonna put those in bowls. I'm probably gonna use the same bowl every day. Cause I only have, an, I don't know how many big enough bowls I have for soup. So I'll just leave that in the pot in the refrigerator.